Hey everyone, it's Jen here at Jen Draws. Today we're going to be unboxing a scroller box. Today we're going to be unboxing a scroller box. It is the August 2019 scroller box. Yes, this box is a year old, but I recently ordered it and I ordered it because I really loved the contents inside. And this is a uh, by Jonathan Knight. It's a Renaissance painting done with pens and I'm a really big pen lover so I really wanted to give these a try to see what I can make with them and this is the artist's information and his social media so you can check him out there maybe you'll love this box too and will want to order it I'll have a link below in the description to scroller box so you can get your own box and order past boxes and have a lot of fun with them this is the paper we got with this box. It's 160 grams by Claire Fontaine. It is a landscape paper. It's fairly thick paper. It's very smooth. So I think this will work really great with pens. And of course, a piece of candy. It, this is Frutella and I believe this flavor is strawberry. We'll find out later. And now for the most important part of the box the contents that we get to draw with. So let's get started. So we have, first off is a Pilot drawing pen. Wow, that's a really nice point. Can't wait to try that out. I love pens. I love all brands. And well, this one's gonna be definitely kept in my collection. And then we have a Staedtler 4H run-of-the-mill pencil. And, of course, the sticker from Scrawler Box. Wow, that's really colorful. My first one for my collection. And, of course, the ingredients for this month. And... The one thing that really got me to buy this box were these pens. They are chameleon pens. You can put the tips together and then have this fade from orange to pink. And I just thought that was pretty awesome. The colors we received are YL2. RD3, BG3, um, PK5, BV4, and a CG8. And it looks like they pretty much follow along with the same coloring naming system like Copic and other major brands. And this I would assume means uh, cool gray number eight. This is blue violet number four. This is pink number five. Uh, blue green number three. This would be red three. And then this, of course, would be yellow two. And there's a nice little pamphlet over the chameleon markers, how they work. So the month's challenge was Rainbow Renaissance. And because this is an older box, I already knew that. So I went on to Google Images, Pinterest. I researched to see what I could find for Renaissance jewelry. If you want to see what I use for reference material, you can check out my Pinterest page. It's also called Gen Draws. And I've made a special board with subsections over what I used to, for my inspiration for Renaissance jewelry. So I'm going to get going. I'm going to try to draw something based off of the references that I found. But first, I guess I probably should do some swatching. It's what everybody does, right? You got to first swatch and give it a try. So I've sharpened my 4-H pencil from Stettler. And let's see how it writes. It's a pencil. Wow. It's very smooth. Can't complain. Not bad. And then the pilot 
drawing pen. Wow, that's a small tip. I really love this paper. It's very smooth. I think I'm going to have to get some more of this kind of paper. And this pen, I like how the fine lines are. I'll do thicker lines. It has a very hard tip, as with most of these kinds of bullet nibs. Then we have the... Oh, wow, that's a big lid for a small pen. These are 0.3, and the drawing pen is... It doesn't say what size, but I think that's like a 0 0.7, 0 0.5. It's definitely, well, way bigger than this. So, RD3 looks almost brownish red. I was expecting a brighter red color. Then we have the pink five. Wow, nice, bright pink. This is definitely pink. And then we have yellow two, very fluorescent. I don't even know if you guys can see that one. That one is very bright. One of my favorite kinds of colors, blue, green, number three. I would call this aqua. And that it very much is, wow. Okay, and then uh, we have my very favorite color, blue. This one's called blue, violet, number four. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I love blue. Blue is my favorite color. With black, silver, you can never go wrong. And this is a cool gray eight. Also a very nice color. Yes, I definitely think with these, I can create some Renaissance-inspired jewelry. And I'm going to stick with the technique that he used here, which is very sketchy and, well, I think gives a lot of life to the to the rendering. Something very different and, uh, well, very cool. First, I'm going to do some sketching here. One thing I like about Renaissance jewelry is it's very rough outline and very rough look to it because everything had to be made by hand. There were no machines really to manufacture jewelry. I really like the, well, we would call it handcrafted these days, motif to it. Not every stone is perfectly the same. Not every setting for every stone is perfectly the same. And as you can see, I have not followed the outline perfectly as well, but this is only a thumbnail just to see if I like what I've created so far. Uh, the one I'm using, I think it's a pendant for a necklace. I'm not gonna do it exactly as it is because that's just too much for me at this moment. So I just will do something a bit more simplified, but yet still capture that essence of the piece. I do realize I never tested the blending, so let's give it a shot. Let's try the red lid on the yellow. One, two, three, four. Nope, not long enough. Let's try again. Maybe I should read the instructions. I watched the videos, but I didn't even read. No, still not getting anything. Well, let's check this out.
Okay guys, well, this is what I've got for a thumbnail and now I'm going to actually try and draw it more realistically on another page. I think I'm pretty happy with this. I'm going to now erase the pencil and outline it. Okay, and now it's time to get coloring. Based on our thumbnail, I'm going to do the center also this dark blue color. Let me know what you think below and make sure you hit that subscribe button and I wouldn't mind a like if you like this video. And until next time, guys, bye. I guess I better sign it as well. Bye.